This week in Minecraft, we've got a ton of information to go over. As the title suggests though, there is a mix of good and bad news this week. So buckle in, we've got our hands full with this one. Let's dive right into it. So just in case you're new around here, I know there's a lot of people checking out the channel with the upcoming world update and so on. But basically this week in Minecraft is a series I created to recap everything which has happened over the past seven days relating to Minecraft update news and information. There's quite a bit to go over today as I suggested earlier on. There's quite a few good things but also a handful of bad. I'm going to start with the good news just to get it out of the way so then we can focus on some potentially negative things that are going on. First up within this week we did get some new LA information which is definitely very interesting. I'm sure you all know what the LA is, it's revealed as a part of the 2021 mob vote and it did go on to actually win in Minecraft Live 2021. It's a very unique mob which will fly around and pick up items for the player. It actually beat out the glare and the copper golem. The copper golem is something I personally really wanted but it's awesome to see the LA is making an appearance in Minecraft. We did get this posted and if you do not know the LA was actually released as part of a bedrock edition beta. We did get this in the patch notes and the LA can collect the same items from the world as it holds in its hand. If the LA holds an item it got from a player it will follow that player. The LA is able to drop items at nearby note blocks. When playing a note block near an LA that note block becomes the LA's favourite note block for 30 seconds and the LA will attempt to drop off items at the note block rather than at the player. If the LA has items in its inventory it will attempt to give them to its owner. And finally the LA sometimes spawns in cages next to pillager outposts similar to iron golem and inside woodland mansions. It's awesome that the LA made an appearance in the latest bedrock beta and it's incredible that we finally have all of this information about this incredible mob. I'm so happy that it did finally get released at least in a beta and us java players will have to wait i guess because it was not a part of a snapshot more on that later but yeah, it's safe to say that some Java players are quite salty right now. We did cover this in my previous video, but Mojang is also now hiring some new incredible pixel artists, which is great news. It's always good to see Mojang employing new talent and just trying to make the game even better than it already is. As I mentioned in that video though, we do not know if they're trying to fill empty spaces or if they're expanding the team, we're not currently sure but this was posted by Jappa, the lead of the art team for Minecraft, saying job alert, it's time for something amazing. My team and I are looking for a pixel artist to join our amazing team working on Minecraft. I'm super excited about expanding the team. Minecraft pixel art, please retweet and tell your pixel art friends. So in this tweet it does say they're expanding, but this could just be another way of wording it. They could just be filling spaces that have been left empty for a while. We're not sure if the actual employee count has increased overall, so it's just awesome to see that in general Mojang are hiring new talent, um, making some wise decisions, and it, it's good news for the upcoming uh, 1.20 update, which is just around the corner when you think about it in the grand scale. This world update is going to be out of the way in 2022, so it's not too far-fetched to be already thinking about 1.20. Along with this, we did also get a like a form or a post where people can sign up to um, be um, to be considered for this role and it did actually give us quite a bit of insight as to what a pixel artist does have to do at Maojang. They have to be um, very talented when it comes to concept art and communicating their vision to other employees, communicating with the team. It's just awesome to know all of this and it's just incredible to get a feel for how talented the Minecraft 
team actually is. Now on to the bad news. There's quite a few negative things that have happened this week. Some may not even consider them bad, but overall there's definitely quite a bit of negativity surrounding them. This first bit is about account migration. That is right, that annoying process which forces everyone to transfer over to a Microsoft account for Minecraft is back and it's upsetting some players. This was posted on the official Minecraft Twitter page saying today is the day. As a part of making Minecraft Java Edition even more secure, we're beginning to roll out mandatory migration for some players. Check out our FAQs for all the info you need to know and don't forget Mojang support are ready to help. Obviously, um, it seems very upbeat and positive in this tweet, but the reality, this is having a very negative effect on hundreds, if not more, players. So many people are being negatively affected by this. Um, if you want to see the full details, we break it down in my full length video about this, so check that out for more. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to talk about it fully in this video because there's so much to go over. But long story short, um, some players that used um, <laughs> a, a one Mojang account for multiple instances of Minecraft, from what I understand, are being um, forced to buy the game again or to create new Microsoft accounts because one Microsoft account cannot store multiple Minecraft or Mojang accounts. It's so complicated and difficult to understand. So. I recommend if you want to know more about this, do your own research. I'm not the best person to come to when it um, relates to this in-depth information, but <laughs> I do definitely know that this is upsetting a lot of players. We even had Ant Venom speaking out about this, a very prominent Minecraft content creator, so it's definitely ruffling a few feathers and causing quite a bit of trouble within the community. Let me know if you're having any problems with this and I'll try my best to help down below in the comments I'll do the best I can but finally we've got some new snapshot information. Sly Slime did tweet out this um, information saying while well, the team is hard at work on things for Minecraft 1.19 we're not quite ready for a first snapshot yet so there will be no snapshot this week obviously referring to this week we're currently recapping and um, tomorrow I'll most likely make a video predicting what's next for Minecraft Java Edition and it's upcoming snapshots so be sure to come back tomorrow for that video but um, yeah this definitely is quite upsetting for Java players we're watching bedrock players over there getting all of their awesome features the LA frogs all of this cool stuff Java players are just sat here twiddling their thumbs waiting for some content we did of course get the experimental snapshot but we've not officially got our real first snapshot yet so all we can do is continue to wait and cross our fingers hoping that something is just around the corner but that's it for this video as I said quite a lot of information as usual there will be um, all of my videos on the channel so if you want full length breakdowns of everything we talked about today just go back on the channel a few days all the content is there ready to be enjoyed but thank you all so much for watching that's it for this one I'm going to go and play some Minecraft have an amazing day and I'll see you all tomorrow goodbye